Hey, hey guys, we got Joe Girolando here after his top 32 match. How did it go? I got savaged in the feature match. Absolutely <laughs> destroyed. I lost the die rolls. That's two and nine in die rolls. And he opened up with a set monster and three back rows. And I opened up and thought at first he was running Gear Jesus. And I didn't know what he was running. Yeah. I mean, they're running the water deck, which is not what three back rows and a set monster really telegraphs. But I like right. set warning and some other cards thinking that maybe it's Gear Jesus and he'll like flip his guy and I'll warning it. And I had a like a fall, like a torrential to stop his arsenal or anything like that, but it ended up being a, a, a lind. Oh. And, like the game just got to a point where he, like he started, he used the style I rode on my torrential, like, <laughs> and like mirror forced me, like he used a soul taker to me, running all these like crazy cards in his deck. And I really had no chance. I didn't draw very well. And he drew like a pretty strong opening hand. And I basically just lost. Game two though, I didn't, I opened up with Gwybald, Lance Lance, Monster Reborn, uh, Solemn Judgment, and no, Solid Road and Solemn Warning. No, no, Solemn, Torrential Tribute. And I decided just to pass to him because I didn't want to set, like, do the whole, like, set forward because it loses out to Marksman, it loses out to a lot of things. Right. What I wanted to do was just pass to him, summon my Guaiba if he warnings it, I can Monster Born it and attack over any monster, presumably he has a monster. And then I can go, you know, set, get Dolka and then set all my cards because it will be protected from a lot of his effects. Yeah. He goes, like, summon Marksman, attack, get your goons, attack, set two, pass. I draw, summon Guaiba, it goes through, attack, it goes through uh, over his. Mark's man, I get another Guava, go to Dolka, set my cards, pass. He goes, put dragons to defense, uh, set a back row, go. My turn, I draw, and I have Reaper in my hand, and my back rows right now are Lance Lance, Torrential, and Solid Road. So I assume, I was inferring that he set multiple back rows on the first turn, so he pr probably has a Solemn Judgment or a Starlight Road face down, mm -hmm. but since he didn't Starlight Road, or he didn't Solemn Judgment my Dolka, I assumed he didn't have a Solemn Judgment face down, so his face down was Starlight Road. Right. So I'm like, he has Starlight Road, and a card that he had set from the previous turn, presumably for, I thought it would be an MST, and then a card he just drew. So for my turn, because he didn't stop my attack, so that's why I like inferred his backers into being right. MST and the Starlight Road. So I ended up summoning a Reaper because I can attack over his Dolko, or attack over my Dolko to his Dragoons and attack with Reaper. He ends up flipping Torrential Tribute as one of the two backers that I thought was the Starlight Road, one, right. of, one of the two that I thought was Starlight Road. So I'm like, okay, the other one is probably Starlight Road. So he ends up torrentialing, but I've wrote, so I'm like, all right, good, I've wrote, like, he can't Solemn Judgment my road because I didn't think he had Solemn Judgment, but for his turn, he happened to draw Solemn, or Solemn Warning of all cards. Yeah. So he Solemn Warnings, he drew the Solemn Warning, so now he wipes my field, now he has just one back row, and I, have, I still have the Reborn, and then he has two cards in hand, so I Reborn my Reaper and attack with the Reaper to put him to one card in hand, and I hit a controller out of his hand, mm -hmm. and I still have my Solemn Warning, so I'm like, I'm still good, I get Solemn Warning, any monster he summons, and then just attack. And I still think he has MST set, so I send another back row, and he doesn't MST or anything, mm -hmm. and he goes to his turn, and he... What happens here? After my Reaper hits, he tops a monster. That's what happened, right? And he tops a, like, a, no, we see, yeah, he tops a monster, an infantry. Of all, and I draw, I draw a Sangin. So I summon my Sangin and attack his face down monster with my Sangin, because I have this, the Solemn Warning. Right. And it just, infantry, I take 600, turn Reaper to defense mode, pass. He's turn, he draws, sets another backer, so he has three backers right now. I draw Saber Source. And I'm like afraid of torrential, but if I run into torrential, I still have my saying in effect, and then my saying will be able to search rabbit. I have two lances still, and I, I can lance one of my monsters as it is. Mm -hmm. So I summon my saber source. That, that's uh, fine. I go. He goes before you go to battle phase. MST my face down torrential. I was like okay, mm -hmm. and then he goes um, flip like goes in match, and I have to. I, I decided to send my saying into my spirit reaper so I can search rescue rabbit because you can search you play rescue rabbit. Under goes a match, and I have a saber source on the field, and I have two saber sources still in the deck. I can go into Gaga Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy, so I end up having that in my hand. And uh, so now I just have a saber source and my lances. Right. And he goes, a lance in hand and a lance face down. And he goes, uh, I, I go enter battle phase. He like MSTs my set solemn warning now, uh -huh. and it ended up being a Lind. And I'm like, that's okay. He searches out um, Magalo, and I still have um, Lance, so I can like lance his Magalo. Mm -hmm. um, all of that happened on the following turn. Like I attacked over his infantry. Yeah. And this is the following turn. Oh, okay. So, I like have rabbit in my like I summon rabbit. Mm -hmm. And this is when he uses the goes of match. Oh, okay. No, this okay. is when he uses the the MSTs. Right. Yeah, this is when he uses the MSTs. So I have rabbit on the field with the saber swords. Before I turn, I drew another rabbit, which makes it so that I don't have to use the rabbit immediately because he thinks I only have one, and I can use it to overlay to Gaga Gaga Cowboy. Right. So I have rabbit on the field and saber swords with lance set, tarantula set. And warning set. This is when he blind MST's torrential. I go into my battle phase. I don't use my rabbit's effect because I want to attack into his lin so I can solve it warning it and then attack with my rabbit because I want to use my rabbit to go into Gaga Gaga -ga Cowboy in defense mode. Right. And then on the next turn, rabbit into saber sources and attack with everything with lance to get over any monsters he might draw. So I have rabbit in attack mode and, and saber source. I attack 
he blind amnesties, hits my solemn warning, so his limb goes off, gets a megalo. So I overlay to cowboy main phase two. I use my rabbits effect now mm -hmm. because I want to go into cowboy, so I have my lance. If he attacks into my saber source, I can lance. And the 800 burn, and the 800 burn, the attack with saber source will be game. So my cowboy's in defense mode, and I have saber source with set lance and two cards in a dark hole and a, the other rescue rabbit. Uh, he draws first turn. He has two cards in hand with a, just a face of goes in match. He draws first turn, undying. Tops, he tops undying, plays undying, gets controller, sends marksman, targets my back row, puts him to five guys in graveyard. I have to hit. Target his Megal. Obviously, his one card in hand is Moonling Glacier. So he summons Moonling Glacier, hits my two cards in hand, stacks over my board, and I just lose. Whoa. So he tops the Undyne, drops the Solemn Warning, hits both of my back rows, making it so that he hits the Solemn Warning, which is the important one. Right. But just like in a row, like it's the most unfortunate series of events to prepare for me to have lost. <laughs> yeah. But it happened, and that's life. <laughs> I lost you so hard. How could you lose? Look at the future match. I just got savaged. <laughs> Undyne off the top, four guys in grave. Perfect card. Right. All right. Well, thanks, Joe. Yep.